Pickett is going into his second season with the Pittsburgh Steelers looking to build off of a respectable rookie season. Last season, Pickett played in 13 games, finishing with a 63% completion percentage, 2,404 passing yards, 7 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. He also added another 237 yards rushing and 3 touchdowns on the ground. Pickett took over for the Steelers during their Week 4 contest against the New York Jets and never looked back. He took the team over with a 1-3 record before helping the Steelers finish with a 9-8 record on the season. Now entering his second season, I want to get into what I've seen from Pickett in the preseason and why I think that he's a prime breakout candidate in 2023, so let's get into it now. Alright, starting with preseason week 1 versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we're going to be running a quick hitter to get this drive going. Once we get the ball, we have some quick and efficient footwork in our one-step drop with a nice base under us. We're going to be getting this ball to Deontay Johnson for soft coverage to the short side of the field, and he's going to make some defenders miss in space with some nice footwork here. Nice, easy completion to start the game and stay ahead of the chains. Moving on to the next play, it's a little more of the same here. This is a spacing concept, which basically means exactly what the concept is called. We're stretching the defense out horizontally in the short and intermediate portions of the field, using our spacing to create a window, and we're going to find this tight end spot route for a quick, easy six-yard gain and a first down. At this point, we can see that the spacing concept works. We have mirrored concepts on both sides of the field. We're just going to get there in a little bit of a different way than the spot route right in the center of the field, this is going to be wide open. The spot route's easy read, easy toss. We've got our first down, six yards. Getting into the next one, there's nothing really special here. We're just going to get this ball swung out to the running back, Najee Harris, in space. He's going to get tackled behind the line of scrimmage on this one, and we're going to take a loss on the play. Not much really to address here, so we're going to move on to the next one. Next up, the situation is third and ten, and we're going to get early pressure off the right edge, and Pickett's going to feel it. However, because the edge took the inside track on this, Pickett knows that the flat's open to scramble and he's going to take advantage of this. Pickett rolls right, evades the pressure, and works downhill to get this ball to Johnson again on this comeback route on the outside along the sideline. You love to see him work downhill towards the target. Too often, quarterbacks will run parallel to the line of scrimmage, which makes them have to fight through their body, and it can result in more of a drifting ball on the delivery. Pickett shows great poise and smoothness on this one. No panic from him at all. Just processes, reacts, and gets his ball out. Great free-flowing play by Pickett here. Next play, we're going to have play action roll out here, and Pickett's going to be rolling to the left. Again, after the play fake, Pickett is going to work back towards the line of scrimmage, and we're going to find this over route in the second window here after the receiver outruns the zone on this one. Good way to work towards the line of scrimmage, and good mechanics throwing on the move to the left. Great placement on the receiver's face mask. Easy pitch and catch here. The next one I want to get into Pickett's advanced movement skills in the pocket. This is going to be an incompletion, but watch how he's able to avoid pressure on this one. Right here, the defender is in his grill, arms extended, reaching out for the sack. Again, great poise on this one as Pickett is going to dip his shoulder, step up to climb in the pocket, and roll out to the right. With another defender in his face, he's going to throw this ball into the dirt and avoid taking the sack on this play. Great play to just take the incompletion here. This next play is going to be the last one from this game, and it's going to be Pickett's only touchdown in the game. Pickett again shows that consistent, clean footwork as he rips this ball into George Pickens on this in route. Pickens then turns upfield and makes this really nice move in space and scores a touchdown here. Clean operation by Pickett in this game, and it results in this outstanding touchdown by George Pickens. The offense gets the touchdown, and they get to sit for the rest of the game. Moving on to our first play in the Pittsburgh-Buffalo game, it's strikingly similar to the first throw versus Tampa Bay. This time, again, quick one-step drop and rips it out to George Pickens here on the stop route versus off coverage. As mentioned earlier, it's quick, clean, and efficient footwork on this setup by Pickett, leading to a nice throw up on the face mask, making it easy for Pickens to turn upfield and get some more yards after the catch before going out of bounds. On this next one, Pickett's going to be getting to the back of his drop. There's no clear option to go with the ball here, but all this grass opens up right in front of him, so he's going to use his legs and extend this play. We end up finding this comeback on the outside, and I like the idea here by Pickett. We're just a touch high on this throw. It's not egregious as the receiver is able to actually get his hand on it, but it's placed a touch high and a touch behind, which is also going to allow the defender to get his hand on it as well. Pickett was at the line of the scrimmage on this throw, and he wasn't really able to work downhill as much as he has in previous throws, and that's what I think might have contributed to this slight accuracy woe. Just something to make note of. On this next one, we have a pre-snap motion, which is going to identify man versus zone. No one's going to move with the motion, so we know that we're playing against zone. Offensively, we're working with this stop, a seam, and a go route combination. As you can see, Pickett is forced to climb the pocket, 
Once he does, he's going to find the stop route between the zones, which is a nice play. However, knowing it was zone, I would have liked to see Pickett take this whole shot down the right sideline for the bigger play. Obviously, it's easy for us to say watching it back, but this whole shot is going to be open. Just have to get the ball out with a little bit of anticipation here. This isn't to say that what Pickett did was wrong. What he did is perfectly acceptable. Take the underneath receiver, get your handful of yards, and move on to the next play. But I do think we had an opportunity to hit Pickens here on that right sideline for a bigger play. The next play is Pickett's only touchdown of the day, but the second total touchdown for the offense. Jalen Warren had one on a long run earlier. We're going to be getting this ball to the tight end running this seam route. When the tight end works upfield and is picked up by this linebacker, the linebacker is going to turn his head and run with the back of his head to the quarterback. Pickett sees this and knows that he can put this ball anywhere outside of this linebacker's frame and make this play because Pickett knows the linebacker is not going to have enough time to get his head around, locate the ball, and get the pass break up before the ball gets to Fryermuth. Pickett back shoulders Fryermuth on this one, and the linebacker doesn't get his head around to make the play. Fryermuth shows his hands late makes the catch, and gets knocked into the end zone for the easy touchdown. Offense now has two drives, resulting in two touchdowns. They get to be done for the day. Moving on to the final preseason game, we have the Steelers versus the Falcons, and on this play, Pickett's going to be hitting the under flat that's going to be running its track behind the offensive line of scrimmage. On this pre-snap motion, we see the defensive back ran with him, showing that it's man-to-man -man coverage, and it's going to be hard for this defender to keep pace with this wide receiver working through all these bodies on the back end of the defense here. Pickett gets the ball out to Allen Robinson on the break for the easy hookup. Nice play by Kenny Pickett here. On this next play, we're going to be watching this go ball on top of the screen to Deontay Johnson. A couple things to watch for before we get into Pickett here. First, notice how this defensive back is lined up on the inside shade of Johnson here. Johnson's already going to have some built-in natural separation because of this alignment. To add on top of that, Johnson is one of the cleaner route runners in the NFL today, and he shows it here. Watch how he wins at the release. He squares up to his defensive back while still maintaining that slight outside shade to keep from giving away where he's going here. He gets into his hezzy triple step type release before having that hard plant off that inside foot and bursting upfield creating significant separation. So now getting back to Pickett after giving Deontay Johnson his credit for his route here. We can see that post snap Pickett's eyes go immediately to the center field safety and we're eyeballing him here. This is to manipulate him into staying in the center field allowing Deontay's route to develop. Once it does and Johnson is accelerating past the defensive back Pickett's eyes dart right to him, and we get this ball out with great touch and an excellent drop angle, putting it right in Deontay Johnson's chest for a massive play. Very well executed here on all fronts. The next one's a beautiful deep ball by Kenny Pickett here. The ball is going to go deep to George Pickens on this go ball, one-on-one -on, -one on the near sideline. Pickett gets to the back of his drop, aligns himself to Pickens, and puts this ball out there. The ball is placed perfectly above the defensive back's head, and Pickens goes up and snags it. This was a beautiful play by the two of them. Hard to say what's more impressive here between this throw and this catch with the defender and his grill here. Plays like this show you how good of chemistry and trust that Pickett and Pickens already have together. There will be many more plays like this, and get ready to hear Pickett to Pickens a lot in 2023. The last play I have for you is a screen here. Pickett allows these linebackers to get upfield and out of position before dumping it off to Najee and letting him do the rest for Pickett's last attempt of the day. There's not a whole lot to really look into here beyond this. So this is going to finish up Pickett's appearance in this preseason. To summarize this all, Pickett has, for the most part, looked outstanding through three preseason games. His footwork looks great, accuracy is precise, and the results speak for themselves. He was 13 of 15 for 199 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, and that's a nice stat line to head into the regular season with. Once the regular season starts, I expect Pickett to pick up right where he left off. I expect a breakout year for Kenny Pickett this year, and I would expect a stat line of about 4,200 yards, 27 touchdowns, and 10 interceptions, and I think that's easily within his range of outcomes. But you tell me what you think. Drop your predictions for Kenny Pickett's stat lines in the comment below, and let me know what you're thinking. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did like this video and want more content like it, consider hitting that like button, subscribing, and hitting that bell to get that notification when we post new content. But that's all for this one. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.